Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take control of your pricing like a pro with the Pricing app. And uh, we're going to go step by step in a little bit. But first, I want to talk about the power of prices and how they control not only your profit margins, obviously, but also your conversion rates. And this could be the missing piece to your store, especially in terms of unlocking the perfect price and conversion rate combination. And all big successful Shopify stores play around with pricing. It's a strategy that every single business uses, right? They're trying to figure out what is the best price in terms of combination with still having a great conversion rate and a great profit margin. And when you understand how your store kind of compares to the competition, you're able to really take full control over pricing and have an understanding of kind of that full view to see where you could fit in and which strategy should best apply. And I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to do this. But the whole idea is that when you track your competitor's pricing and then you update your pricing accordingly, you're going to maximize your profit margins and your conversion rate at the same time. You're going to find that perfect price with that high conversion rate. And there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're going to need to use an app. I'm going to show you the Pricing app and uh, you see the link below the video right now. But we're going to go over the shoulder in a little bit. I'm going to show you an app. Very easy to use. Very easy to install. You don't need any prior experience. And the whole idea is that we're going to be able to track and view competitor pricing and then we're going to set up automated rules and we're going to have full control of our pricing and we're going to really uh, kind of set it up all at once. Very, very easy to do. And again, this is the Pricing app. You see the link directly below this video. I'm going to show you this in the App Store right now. Again, this is that link directly below the video over here. You see uh, five star reviews. 106 reviews at the time of this video and you can go through five star after five star after five star all of these huge reviews five star because uh, it says right over here dynamic pricing optimization that's exactly what it does and again i'm going to show you step by step inside my store but uh, you see the link below this video highly recommended it. it's going to give you unlimited price tracking of your competition and it's going to help you uncover products that other stores are selling uh, when they're selling the same product as yours right you're going to see their pricing you're going to see how you compare and you're going to be able to have email alerts, Excel reporting. But the biggest thing is right over here. And I'll show you how we'll set this up, I'll show you a couple different examples, dynamic pricing, where we're going to set these pr uh, pricing rules to make sure that our price is always the most competitive. And we'll talk about different examples of different price strategies as well that we could implement with this. So all you need to do is just press the add app button, get this installed in your store. We're going to go over the shoulder. First thing that we want to do when we get inside the app, we're going to add products into pricing. We're going to come right over here in the uh, add products from your Shopify account. And you're going to immediately see all the different products that are in there. These have already been added in here for example sake. But when you go through and add all of them, you're just going to have the ability to check. You could uncheck all of them. You could just select specific ones. I selected these earlier, right? You can go ahead and just select a couple and that will import them into the Pricing dashboard. It's really as simple as that. You can go through all the different pages. It's gonna literally show all of the different products down there and when you have some selected, you could press import. Once you have products imported, that's the first step. And you know, typically you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and do your entire catalog depending on the type of products that you have. I've added three different products into my Pricing dashboard. And as you can see, it's gonna load in some data. And more specifically, it's going to talk about all the different areas where I have different positioning. Now, in some cases, actually in all the cases, I'm the cheapest, right? In some cases, you could be cheaper or average or higher or highest or all equal pricing. And you see that it's comparing from all of these different sites. I didn't enter any of these sites. That's the cool part. It automatically finds all of these matching products, matching stores that are selling the exact product, does uh, searching by a couple different ways to make sure that it's a specific match. And we have all of these uh, kind of items now being tracked automatically. And this is on a per product basis. They're each gonna be tracked individually. Some stores have all of the exact products. Some stores just have a couple. And it's gonna tell you literally what the situation is. You can click in here and we're gonna get into a search result. But really the important thing here is the filter. I'll show you some examples. But what we're gonna have is a result of all of our different products here. And we're gonna be able to manage these at any time. We can come under here to manage and then products. This is gonna give us the ability to delete products, to make changes over here. Uh, but again, this is what gets imported directly from Shopify in our case. So we have different filters over here and we're really gonna be able to see things visually, right? We can see the positioning in terms of where we are, in terms of how much higher, or in some cases lower, a product might be. So we could literally look over here and we see Adorama, they're at $170 higher. 
and uh, we're going to be able to really kind of understand where we stand here. And not, uh, I'm going to talk about some examples of actionability, but we don't always want to be, especially over here, $30 lower, right? And we'll talk about some strategy here, but I want to just kind of walk you through what we're doing inside of here. And you see another uh, product over here, in this case, $45 is the next uh, cheapest price. See over here, we're kind of right in the middle. A lot of people are the same price over here. There are some that are more expensive. So these are just some sample products, but we're going to talk about kind of the ideas of what you do with this data, right? Some of the pricing strategies that you have. We'll come back to this in a second. But this is kind of our filter search engine, and we can go through any type of uh, kind of situation here. Of course, we could do product search, product code search, barcode search, tag search, company search, but this is really cool over here in terms of positioning. Really quickly, and let's say uh, we had ones where we go, I'm the highest, right? And we search through the uh, different kind of products that are out here, and we see exactly, in this case, none, right? But we would see any products where we're the highest price. So in that case, you know, we can make some decisions in terms of how we're going to change our pricing. And I'm going to clear this out over here, just go back to all of our, uh, all of our products, right? What kind of information can we uh, um, get out of this report here? And when we see that we are the lowest price, that's great, right? But what about the kind of difference in here? So a great scenario that you would use pricing for. You are the cheapest price item, but there is, uh, and it's going to tell you exactly, $30, almost $31 of margin in between. And, you know, you want to be the cheapest. You see a lot of other competitors, you know, around the higher price, sometimes even a little higher. So you have price on your side here. What's a strategy that would work? Well, you could raise pricing to, you know, say $20 higher. So you're still $10 lower, right? Very easy to see that, right? How much room, this is basically asking a question, how much more profit margin do we have? These guys are the next best price. They're $30, there's $40, $100, right? So we can go up to 10, 15, $20 adding to our profit margin uh, by immediately kind of just looking at what's going on and seeing what's, uh, uh, what the difference is, right? Very kind of simple implementation here, but also very powerful because we want to capitalize and make as much uh, profit per sale as we can. And this data is saying that we can absolutely do that. How about another example? I'll show it down here. This might be a little bit more relevant. Not that many competitors out there. And you could monitor over here seeing when people potentially go out of stock, right? So let's say you have an item where you are the only person that is in stock at this price. So let's say all these other 799s are out of stock. We're looking at 1025 as the next. Or you could imagine that everyone's out of stock, right? Supply and demand basic, right? We get to raise our price here. So you could, again, pay attention to pricing, obviously, in terms of you want it to be the cheapest, but that's only one side of it, right? How much, uh, how much cheaper do you want to be than the com uh, competition? What are some other factors in there in terms of demand? How much can you raise price? The idea is to have full control over pricing where we want to capitalize on, you know, in simplest terms, making the most money as we can. What's going to be the highest conversion with the um, kind of highest price that we can uh, sell for without dropping our conversion rate? It's really simple math there. What is going to be the highest conversion and the highest price that we can sell? Pricing is going to allow you to figure that out almost immediately. Now I want to show you the dynamic pricing section. This is really cool and it's actually really, really easy to set up. So the idea here is that you want to set a price to maximize your profit. And you want to try all these different kind of ideas in terms of positioning and which products you're going to apply to, right? These are smart rules that can be applied to automatically make changes. So I would like to be, in this case, $5 higher or lower, we'll put, uh, how about lower than the cheapest? Okay, what, what does this mean? Well, in you know, very plain English, your price is automatically going to be set to be $5 lower than the next cheapest price. So if we were to go back and look at our products in terms of looking at all of the dashboard information, right? If we weren't already the cheapest, in this case, we'd be 259.85 minus five. That would set the rule, right? So those rules are going to effectively change our price. This, uh, this also kind of does that um, little strategy that I first talked about. You wanna be cheapest, but you don't need to be cheapest by $40. Here, we're gonna be the cheapest by, uh, over here, we'll be the cheapest by $5. Over here, we'll be $5 higher than the next cheapest. So basically adding five to the cheapest price. All about your branding style, your pricing strategy, how your ads are performing, your conversion rate. You wanna try all these different kind of combinations until you find that sweet spot, all right? We have also, we could be always be the average, right? You wanna build a high-end brand, maybe you think you can always go the highest, right? You have these automated rules that you'll be able to apply to all products or individual products. You'll be able to select the products over here by clicking through and applying 
the uh, rules to each specific product. And you could even come in over here, you're gonna see a list of all of the different competitors. So if you only wanna pay attention to let's say some big retailers and go ahead and kind of uh, do $5 off of them, right? You're gonna be able to do that so you kind of ignore any small stores. You could also take a look at as long as I respect rules, basically saying that we're gonna have at least in this cost, uh, in this case, minimum level is gonna be cost plus $5, right? So the lowest that our rule could ever set is gonna be whatever it costs us plus $5. If we don't like that, we could say plus $50, right? It doesn't matter, we have full control over whatever we wanna put in here. Same thing for the max over here, you can say the max, and you don't always have to have this on, but you could have max, let's say, it's never gonna be uh, more than 100, more than our cost, right? A lot of times you just kinda of have that off, but it's gonna give you different types of ideas, and you actually see the filters applying down here in real life where there's a smart price, you see the highest competitor, you see the average, you see the cheapest, Right, we have all these different kind of filtering in here based on our rules. So we could have preferences as well in terms of decimals, always ending with a nice pretty 99 or a 95 in case there gets to be any type of weird kind of um, price comparisons, right? So we don't have any weirdness going on, right? All the prices look nice. And again, we have all these different nice psychological levels to go to. We could just round it right off there for your nice high-end store. And uh, again, some price change limits as well. But the ability to have full control over this, and these are just single rules, right? You could have multiple rules where you're gonna have uh, basically combinations, right? So you can get as advanced as you want. These are the dynamic pricing section of Pricing. You also have tons of different great reports over here. So you always fully know what's going on. So that was Pricing, and again, you see the link directly below this video. I highly recommend it. All of my students using it to take control of pricing, and you saw the examples there. You could really kind of pick and choose in terms of how you want to set up your store's pricing, how you want to compare to your competition. But the bottom line is you're going to be empowered with not only the data, but also the tools to make this fully automated and have your dynamic pricing set up with pricing. So again, you see the link directly below this video, highly recommended. If you have any questions, please post a comment over here. I'll do my best to help you out. Otherwise, hope this helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.